we have gone through the topics related to the leadership and the emotional intelligence and now our concern is focusing upon the decision making no doubt being leaders and being emotionally intelligent it is our responsibility that we have to do a decision making in a rightful manner so that the organizations can have sustainability above average returns and they are able to solve their issues and problems when we talk about decision making remember that there are different concerns which organizations need to do understand for example they need to take the risk in their consideration and they, sometimes there are certain risk taking judgments when we talk about risk taking judgments there are two types of managers that we usually encounter with some are risk takers and others are risk averse when we talk about risk taking managers so they are there to take the risk they are there to take the higher return and no doubt those who are going to avoid the risk they are actually going to avoid the higher return as well and you know sometimes it can happen in a way that the people who are having the risk aversion are also having the high returns so in this concern remember one thing that the most important thing when you are talking about the cn making is the definition of the problem and when we talk about the problem generally we say the problem is the difference between expectation and the actual so we have to be very much careful about what are the expectations and what are the actual performance outcomes that we are going to have or we are getting already for example when we talk about classification of the problem we have to be careful that either the problem is like startingly there or the problem is evolving out of some context secondly we have to see that what is the definition of the problem what actually are the magnitudes of the problem what are the variables and the concerns involved another important thing is that we have to specify different answers to the problem that how we are going to address to that particular problem what is the decision criteria how are, how we are going to evaluate the problem issues the problem related perspectives so that hamara decision making creativity or innovation ke sath wo brew kar ho sake so when we develop risk taking judgments there are few things that we need to understand the first thing is that we need to decide for the right thing it is not the case that we only focus upon the popular perspective ab sahi baat kya hai sahi cheez kya hai uske upar hame focus karna hai optimum results best possible results hame hasil karne ki koshish karni hai rather than ki hum sirf us decision ki taraf chale jaye which is only satisfying another important thing in the risk taking perspective is that we have to build the decision in a way that it is action oriented that a, that decision can be materialized that decision can be implemented because sometimes hum kuch ideal decisions aise le sakte hain ki jinki practical manifestation wo darasal hame nazar na aaye and yet there is another important thing that we need to understand ki we also need to test the validity and the reliability of our decision we have to see ki hamare decision se jo outcomes generate ho rahe hain with the passage of time wo kitne reliable aur kitne valid hain we have to see ki hamari expectations kya thi और हमें यह भी देखना है कि हमें कौन सा कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन यूज करना होगा एक्चुअली चीजों को मटीरियलाइज करने के लिए एंड ऑब्वियसली हमारा सारा मकसद क्या है हमारा मकसद यह है कि हम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के प्रॉब्लम्स को हल कर सकें क्रिएटिव एंड इनोवेटिव आइडियाज लेकर आ सकें और एक ऐसा सपोर्टिव इन्वायरमेंट क्रिएट कर सकें कि जिसमें के तमाम स्टेक होल्डर्स की जो नीड्स हैं वो सेटिस्फाई हो सकें डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो याद रखिएगा कि डिसीजन मेकिंग में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज यह है कि हम प्रॉब्लम को डिफाइन वो कैसे करते हैं वंस द प्रॉब्लम इज सॉल्व वंस द प्रॉब्लम इज आइडेंटिफाइड देन वी आर एबल टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इन ए राइटफुल मैनर थैंक यू